just like the sign says, welcome to the Ackerman Heritage House. This house is located in downtown Napa. It is accessible by foot to most of the major hotels here. A wonderful place and a wonderful setting to taste the wines of Coombsville that are produced by the Ackerman family. And its current owner, Lauren Ackerman, took five to six years to completely restore and renovate this home. I'm really excited to be able to show you the inside of this house and kind of get a run of the place. Let's do it. You can see much of the hard redwood throughout the home and this entryway is just, uh, I could just live in this entryway, honestly. From the front door, you just look up at this fantastic staircase again, you're seeing all of the redwood that is not available anymore for good reason, but um, this has been restored beautifully. From there, we go into the grand parlor and uh, for your wine tasting event, you go straight into this room where you get to start off your tour of the home with the Sauvignon Blanc that is featured by the Ackerman House. I almost missed this detail of the fireplace behind the wines because I was distracted by wine, but don't forget to look at all the details. The details are what makes, I think, these homes particularly beautiful. So you get your, your drink of Sauvignon Blanc. Joe, our host, or the whatever host you have, will take you throughout the house and give you a tour. Again, the details, don't forget to look up. I mean, look at these carvings and the stained glass. It is just incredible. Seventeen of the 25 stained glass pieces in the house are original to the home. And one of my favorite features is going to be coming up here because you can't get them anymore. All of the furnishings and stylistic elements throughout the home are either original to the home or correct to the period, which is, of course, the Victorian era. My first couple of visits to this house, I missed this piece here, but look at the detail. This was done by hand look at the detail. I can't get over it and I am mesmerized, mesmerized by it every time I see it. And I really just, I wanted to share this with you because while it's not my style, the artistry is unmatched. These sliding doors are usually open, but I wanted to show you the fantastic detail in the woodwork and the metalwork on the hardware. Stunning. Joe is usually the host that we have when we go for a visit and he was telling me, I think he told me that these were painted like a Pepto-Bismol color <laughs> before the, everything was restored. So all of the wood had to be stripped and refinished. Here are these stained glass pieces that you can't get anymore. You see the circles and then within the circle there's another circle. Those are hand blown and that effect is made with mercury and what we now know about mercury that they didn't know back in the late 1800s is that mercury is highly toxic they used to use it in thermometers and other things but now we don't use it at all because it's so toxic so definitely these pieces are not ever going to be made again i guess this would be the glass equivalent of lead-based paint which we're going to soon be dealing with at the cottage we have to get it stripped and repainted so i'll put that on here if you missed the tour i will post a link to it in the description box and here in the corner as we head into the dining room now's a good time to mention that you can rent this space and have lunch dinner brunch for you and your closest friends there is a fully functioning kitchen, which you're going to see in a minute. Oh, by the way, recognize those candles. Those are the ones I use in the house. Anyway, I'll put a link for those in the description box if you want them, but it's nice to see them being used besides my house. Anyway, you can rent this space. And I actually did that with a, with several of my close friends as a big like celebratory dinner. Their chef is amazing. It pairs wonderfully with the wines that they feature. And I just can't recommend it enough for a private dining event. They also have an extensive collection of teacups and offer afternoon tea service on the third weekend of every month. So you don't even need to be having a big dinner party. You can just come and enjoy it. 
This office is just off the dining room. It totally gives me dark academia vibes. We've decided to do the basement in a dark academia theme, and so that will be coming on the channel here. I don't know when, but it will come. Okay, now onto the kitchen. This kitchen is a fully functioning kitchen, but it is gorgeous. They have this copper sink, which is amazing. I don't cook as you all know, but I could hang out in here. It's really pretty. This tin roof or tin ceiling is original and then they just painted it copper. So I thought that was a really neat detail as well. Okay, let's talk about this refrigerator. This is, this is a refrigerator and the hardware was made by an Amish craftsman who had the molds for these fittings for generations in his family and made them specifically for the refrigerator in this house. But you open it up and it's like a regular working refrigerator, which is so cool. Again, the details, the details are, are what make it for me. After fully exploring the downstairs, it's time to head upstairs. Before we do, if you ever see this in a Victorian home, that little statuette, it means that the person who owns the home like owns it outright and the deed is usually hidden in the newel post underneath the statuette. Often the deed was kept in the newel post itself, so a lot of these in older homes are hollow. This one doesn't have a functioning door on it, but this newel post is hollow. I wanted to show this side, I don't know what the thing on the side's called, but that's Redwood original, and then they had to redo the steps. They got as close as they could to the color um, but I just wanted to show that there is still a ton of redwood everywhere in this home. Redwood that you can see and redwood that you cannot see that uh, can, you know, comprise the bones and the structure of the house. Now this primary suite is absolutely stunning. Again, these are not necessarily original pieces, but they're all period correct. And this house is also available for weddings. And so Joe was telling us that they often do a lot of wedding photography in this amazing bathroom. How this, they found that tub by the way, when they were doing the restoration and then they restored the tub and put it in this rotunda. One of the other rooms upstairs has one of my favorite hidden secrets in here, but it's a bedroom that, um, is now used as an office and I love all the details including like the carousel here on the table and the microscope again period and total dark academia vibes typewriter all this stuff my favorite detail in this house is behind this door Again, this is period Victorian era stuff. This is a Memento Mori photograph, if you know what that is. So I'll just let you take a look at it. Did you ever see that Nicole Kidman movie called The Others that I think it was in the early 2000s? You'll know what that is if you saw that movie. Not only were Victorian homes elaborate, but so were the homes for their birds. This birdhouse is not always available to see on the tour, but I wanted to show you. Once we finish the tour of the house, we can head out to the back. So it's a side door off of the dining room. And before we head into the wine tasting experience, I just wanted to take a view of the beautiful side uh, profile of this home. This used to be the carriage house. They call it the aviary now, and this is where the wine tasting experience truly happened. They also have a beautiful outside space if you would like to visit. They don't allow pets. They do allow children over 12. So this is a great place to relax. We have beautiful weather, especially in the spring, early summer and fall.
every person who wine tastes will get cheese and the cheeses are carefully selected to go with each of the wines. Again, all the details in here are just beautifully curated and thoughtful. The wines that you'll probably try are include the Memoir, which is my favorite, the Cabernet Sauvignon, and the Petite Syrah. They do change occasionally. The Memoir I love the most because it's the best wine I've ever had with pizza. I'm sure there are other things that you compare with it, but this is what I call pizza wine. So whenever I call Joe, I'm like, Joe, I need some more pizza wine, and he knows exactly what I'm talking about. And soon I think um, this Memoir will be distributed in restaurants. This winery started producing wines back in 1995, and it's a very small production, about 2,000 cases per year. It's in the Coombsville Appalachian, which is the newest um, AVA or American Viticultural area um, in the Napa Valley. And as you visit, Joe or whoever your host is will tell you about the terroir of Coombsville, and you get to see this really cool cross-sectional cut that kind of shows all of the different uh, soils and volcanic pieces of the Coombsville region. The caldera, which is, you know, the old top of the volcano, contributes heavily towards the different characteristics of the wine. As far as I know, this is the only location within walking distance of downtown Napa where you can have a full wine tasting experience within a fully restored and renovated Victorian home. I cannot recommend Ackerman Heritage House enough for your next wine tasting event or afternoon tea or private dinner, all of the above are fantastic. Special thanks to Joe and everybody in, um, right across the street. Check out my other demystifying Napa videos and I'll see you real soon. Thank you.